y'all welcome back to my channel please do not mind my prison braids actually they real cute they real cute bianca just um braided my hair down last night um because i wanted my braids to be super super flat for my wig and also i could give y'all a length update if y'all didn't watch um it was in the beginning of this year I got my hair pressed out and trimmed. I am natural. I've been natural for like, I think three years. I'm honestly not keeping count. <laughs> Today is not about my hair. Today is not about my crusty behind eyebrows. Today isn't about all of that. Today is about the Juvia's Place versus Jackie Ina drama, y'all. So while we are discussing that, I am going to be installing my wig. Y'all have seen this wig before. Um, it's just my little bob wig and I curled it. I really wasn't going to record today because I'm actually in a rush. But after what I've just seen on Twitter, you guys, I had to. Like, I literally had to record a video because it's just way too much. Like, way, way, way too much. Everybody should know who Jackie Ina is. If you have a YouTube account, if you know what YouTube is, you should definitely be subscribed to Jackie Ina. I love her and I have so much respect for her. Just like as an influencer, you know, a lot of influencers, they're scared to just call people out on things and talk about certain things because they don't want to miss out on opportunities or money. But from what I've seen, because I don't know her personally, she's not. And I love that. Like, I love that she called out a certain um, online um clothing company that everybody knows of i love that she just speaks out on things that other people are afraid to because of missing out on money so if you don't know who juvia what juvia's place is juvia's place is a black owned makeup company i actually have two of their palettes i have i don't even want to promote them but i have the douce and the zulu palette and um, my sister put me on Juv Juvia's Place a couple of years ago before they started selling in Ulta and before they honestly got popping. Like, Juvia's Place, they were popping, but a lot of people, I'm not going to say a lot of people, a lot of people didn't know about them. More of knew about them because they were a black-owned company. And now that Juvia's Place has been put on and is now being sold in huge makeup stores like Ulta and other um, influencers and other white influencers are put onto Juvia's Place. Like, Juvia's Place don't know how to act, honey. While I'm applying my first layer of glue and I let that dry, I'm going to show y'all the receipts because I'm not going to talk about something like this without showing y'all the receipts. So about last week or the week before that, I obviously followed Jackie Anna on Twitter. She was talking about a particular makeup company that she does not want to do a review on. Everyone knows that Juvia's Place just came out with a foundation. That's basic news. Everybody knows that by now. So Juvia's Place just came out with a foundation before they were like heavily relying on eyeshadow palettes, blushes, they came out with makeup brushes and stuff like that. But this is their first time coming out with the foundation which is huge. Everyone has been doing reviews on it. But Jackie Ina and people like people peep stuff like that especially with a huge makeup or beauty guru such as Jackie Ina when she doesn't do a review on a product that's really popular everyone has questions so i guess people on twitter were questioning jackie Ina a lot about it and she tweeted this i'm gonna put a screenshot here so y'all can see the tweet reads months ago i tweeted about makeup companies who don't give a damn about working with or cultivating relationships with black influencers at all until it's time for them to launch a complexion product and now look all skin folk ain't kin folk i can't align myself with any brand, black owned or not, that purposely taunts their customers. It's okay to use pro-black imagery to lure black money only to step over them on the way to the top and reject them when you get there. Disappointed, but also not surprised. So anyways, I'll continue to stick to supporting and buying from the other incredible self-made black owned beauty brands who support everyone, not just use their black customers to get mainstream attention, then spit on them on the way up. Then she shows a screenshot in that tweet of the founder and owner of Juvia's Place blocking her. And also Juvia's Place blocking her. 
Long before I publicly acknowledged why I don't support this brand, y'all already knew something was off, like I explained earlier. There are also a few why I don't support Juvia's Place videos from smaller black influencers on YouTube. If you don't believe me, cool. Then listen to them and make that call for yourself. And lastly, I ask people, don't allow this lady to be the representative for all Nigerians. I promise, we all aren't like this. Don't mind her. First of all, I didn't even know that lady was Nigerian, but now I know. Then, she tweets to the owner. I guess her name is Chi Chi. I gotta watch my glue. Hold on, time for the second layer, y'all. Chi Chi, I'll say this to you again. This is false. You may think, and I don't know what she's responding to exactly, because Chi Chi, I was gonna tell y'all later, but I'll tell y'all now. Chi Chi deactivated her Twitter, y'all. <laughs> anyway. She, after she, I'll show y'all what she said um, later, but she deactivated her Twitter, so I can't even show you guys what she said. But she said, Chi Chi, I'll say this to you again, this is false. You may think you reached out multiple times, but almost doesn't count. There was one email exchange after my very first review of your products, which I purchased. Nothing more and nothing less, which is fine, but don't lie. Also, you're not going to talk to me like you talk to Alyssa and your customers. I know you should know better is a favorite line of yours, but it doesn't apply to this. Now, kindly go back to your Twitter hiatus. You haven't logged on in a year and nobody even tagged you in this post. Period. So, that's that on that, but that is the tweets before I read the letter is what I initially saw. And I was completely disgusted and in depth, I'll insert more screenshots, but in depth, um, as I read in that post when everyone was asking, cause y'all, I do my research. <laughs> everyone was asking like, what's going on? Like what happened? Why doesn't she support them? Juvia's place decided to, I guess Jeffrey, I don't know if they sponsored a post with Jeffree Star, if they paid him to use their product, but Jeffree Star made a post I guess using their eyeshadows and their products and their foundation and Juvia's Place was just reposting it, supporting them. I'm pretty sure they paid Jeffree Star for these ads. I'm pretty sure. And to me, it's just tasteless because you guys should know if you watch my channel because I think this will be the third time I talk about it. Jeffree Star is, has said racist comments in the past. I personally don't care that he apologized. I don't because to me, something like saying racist things i get people get educated on their way up but it's just very convenient that people are allowed to say racist things or prejudiced things to a certain group of people but when they make it that's when they have all of the apologies would you have had all of these apologies if you weren't in the position that you're in like are you apologizing now to save face or are you really sorry so to me it is tasteless Y'all gotta make sure, I gotta make sure it ain't drying down. I think I could do my third later, layer. So I really do think it's tasteless that Juvia's Place is giving this man a platform through them to promote their product. This man who has said disgusting things about um, a specific group of people. Like why? It's just tasteless to me and I don't like that. Then in the thread I also read that Alyssa Ashley before Juvia's Place got put on was the one putting Juvia's Place on, telling people about it. This was a long time ago before everyone knew about Juvia's Place. Um, promoting them, like doing all of these things to help Juvia's Place. And then when she, Juvia's Place started getting put on and she asked for these, you know, funds. You gotta, you gotta pay, <laughs> you gotta pay. When she asked for these funds and these opportunities for Juvia's Place, Juvia's Place said no. Nah. But then you see people like Jeffree Star getting these opportunities. To me, it's tasteless and I, I don't like that. Like, I feel like black people and I, I love us. Don't get me wrong, I love us. But I hate that when we get put on, we don't wanna put nobody else on, nobody else that looks like us on. And for them, it's the opposite. Like, you rarely see Spanish people. When Spanish people get put on, they gonna put their whole family on. They gonna put their whole team on before they put somebody else on. When white people get put on, they gonna put their people on before they put somebody else on. Like, and I'm not saying that's not how it's supposed to be, but you look out for your people. You look out for your people. And I just, I don't, I don't like it and I don't appreciate it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna name this wig, y'all. I've had her, ooh. <laughs> I've had this wig for 
a couple of months now like three or four months and honestly i can't come up with a name so maybe y'all can help me i feel like i'm probably the only black girl that does not name her wigs all right y'all so while my lace is melting um i'm gonna continue so the whole reason i decided to do this video was because of this specific tweet right here y'all when i saw this i was like i was utterly disgusted and it just it left a bad taste in my mouth on not only the owner but it's sad to say that such an amazing product as or an amazing company with such amazing products such as juvia's place now is it's just considered tasteless to me and so many other people because of this tweet like this tweet just did it for me so the owner i guess her name is chi chi <laughs> she tweets i personally stand firm on my take which she did a whole she said a whole thread but the fact that she deleted her twitter now i can't even see it which is a sign like why well, talk a whole bunch of ish but then delete your twitter i don't you hate girls like that it's like them girls in high school in middle school who always had so much to say like they love to talk on social media it was facebook back then no 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 it was myspace it was myspace in middle school them girls who love to talk all that junk on myspace but when you see them in the gym when you see them on the food court when you see them in the cafeteria they mute they don't got nothing to say it's like why you got all that to say but then you delete your twitter the tweet reads i personally stand firm on my take jackie Ina is not pro-black she slept with a married man for years what the what does that have to do with anything first of all we we're not even talking about her man i don't know if that's true but that's not anyone's that's not another black woman tearing down another black woman like why 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 are you talking about her sleeping with another married man what the heck does that have to do with anything she defrauded her loyalty base with a gofundme account even if that's true what does that have to do with anything accused another black woman of stealing from her with no proof what does that have to do with you being a sellout and letting jeffrey stop i mean like what the heck does this she's not defending her actions all she's doing is talking ish about another lady's personal life the lady didn't call out her personal jackie anna didn't say anything about this lady's personal life yet the world said to stay silent yes stay silent because you're making yourself and your company your amazing company that i'm sure you put your blood sweat and tears in you're you're ruining the brand and you're ruining its reputation like that type of crap pisses me off earlier this week Alyssa ashley tweeted if you're gonna get legal at least tell your attorney to address it to the right twins first of all if you don't know Alyssa ashley has a twin arnell armin I guess the text reads from, I think it's from her twin sister, Arnell. We also have a slight issue to discuss. What issue? Juvia's place attorney just reached out with the letter saying and made it out to Arnell, LOL. Not only are you tasteless and unprofessional, you dumb too. How are you going to make the letter out? I don't know if the letter was a cease and desist. I don't know if she's suing um, Alyssa. I don't know what's happening, but you make that out to your the twin sister? Okay. Five, four, three, two, I let one go. Smile, get the fuck though. I don't jump, bro. Aim it at your head. I can fuck it up. Alright, y'all. So, I think I decided. I don't know if I should do, like... I'm talking about I decided. Child, I don't know whether I should do the side part or... Y'all have seen it in the middle part, but I'm gonna show y'all again. Or a middle part. Like, what do y'all think? Side or middle? Side or or middle I feel like my curls are too tight right now for a middle like I look like a little girl but I still look like a little girl with a side part I'm just ready for these curls to drop I think I'm gonna do a side part y'all but y'all let me know in the comment section which one y'all like and also please let me know down below how y'all feel about the Jackie Ina and Alyssa Ashley versus Juvia's Place drama let me know respectfully because everyone is entitled to their own opinion but 
I feel very strongly about this. All right, you guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and make sure your notifications are turned on by clicking that bell. That is so important. So you guys get the notifications whenever I upload a video. And if you enjoyed, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, enter my giveaway. Giveaway is still going on. Everything will be in the description box. Love you guys so, 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 so much. And I'll see you guys later.